Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it, 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 I got it. Oh, are you still filming? Are you still filming? Yeah. Oh, this is so exciting. So I got a letter in the mail at the beginning of the year. It was a recall saying, hey, bring your car in and we're gonna replace the passenger airbag. Great, no big deal, bring it in. As I'm checking out though, they hand me basically a CVS receipt. They were like, hey, these are all of the things that you should get done to your car that need to get done. And if you don't do it, your car is gonna probably explode. So like a responsible adult, I put it off for months. So it's like, I feel like I should learn how to change my oil. It's just a life skill that I should know. So I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm going to learn how to change the oil in my car. I open up YouTube and type in how to change the oil of a 2010 Ford Fusion. There is an exact video that comes up of like, oh, this is how you change the oil of a 2010 Ford Fusion. I get over to Amazon and I'm like, uh, okay, uh, oil, because <laughs> I don't know what else to do. There's this really cool feature of Amazon called Amazon Garage, where basically you add the year make model of your car and it filters down all the possible options of oil or whatever parts that you might need and you're like hey here are the parts that will fit your vehicle and then I remembered what happened to Grayson so I just need to get a regular oil change before I was headed out we got it changed and I hit the interstate and five or six lights on my dashboard all turned on at the same time and I stop and the engine is kind of steaming a little bit and I get out of my truck and oil has literally covered both sides of my truck from front to back and it is dripping off the bottom of my truck. And I was like, what happened between when the lights came on and when I pulled over? And so I called tow truck and he, he tows me over to another oil change place. And the manager of the oil change place, he takes a look at my engine, he comes over and he says, so we're going to have to replace your engine. No it way. Literally imploded my engine. All you did was just get an oil change and get a oil, new oil filter. On yeah, that. yeah. That's, that's all I'm doing. And you're telling me that the results of what could be possible is that I'm going to be, need a brand new engine at the end of this. Yeah, I mean, that's what happened to me. <laughs> okay. And that guy was a professional, McLean. Good. Yeah, right. Not like someone who's never done this before. So this is... And watching perfect. YouTube videos. Yeah, no, He does this no. for a living. Good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. So I think this is what I'm looking for. That's where I need to pour the oil in. I got a couple things from Walmart. This is what I looked up. I'm supposed to use the 5W20. This is basically a pan, a pan an oil drain pan. I'm just gonna pop these off and put it underneath. I picked up these rhino ramps. You slide it underneath the front wheels of your car and it gets it elevated. I took one of our kitchen towels and then one of these funnels that I figured I'll drain the oil with. Because we're newly married, we don't have a huge tool collection. I don't really need it. So I know I need like some wrench, some thing that I hope is in here. I saved you the trouble of having me watch YouTube videos. So this is the thing that I'm looking for. And this is the thing that I'm supposed to open up. And when I open that up, it's supposed to drain the oil. I'm gonna go try to find something that we can use for that. You guys, I think I got really lucky on this first go. Wait, no, I didn't. No, that's not working at all. All right, let's try this one. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I don't think that's it. I'm using one of these, you know what I'm talking about? And I feel like such a professional. Oh, I just hit myself in the face. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Oh, are you still filming? Are you still filming? Yeah. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, okay, don't screw this up, don't screw this up. All right, so this is going here, right? All right, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah! That's so gross, but it's so great. Look at that. Oh, my car is just peeing. Look at that. Okay, that's great, that's great, fantastic. All right, so that's good, that's good. There was a good moment I did not believe in myself. It's a little victories, right? <laughs> so I just finished watching Charlie on YouTube uh, explain what I need to do next. And basically, it's putting that screw back on and along with one of these new full gaskets, gaskets, the thing I'm worried about is because right after I'm going to change the oil filter and if you remember it basically imploded and oil went everywhere because the wrong oil filter was put on the engine. I don't want to do that. So I'm making sure real fast that the oil filter that we have right now is going to be compatible. I think this is it. I really hope this is it. <laughs> okay. I got one of these fancy gaskets now. So hopefully it's worth it. I'll put that right there. Cleaning this off. When, how, how long should I let this drain for? Because it's still dripping. Not much. It's just enough. Ah, how bad could it be? Let's put it back in there. 
Doesn't need to be much tighter than that. That's good, that's good. Let's see. Now the oil filter is right here. Do you think this is gonna be another thing that like drains oil? Cause I don't wanna be looking up at this and then <laughs> just get a face full of oil. Do you hear that slosh? <laughs> All right, they said that this should just be hand tight. Oh yeah, they're right. Oh man, I'm gonna get super oily right here. I feel like I should wear gloves. <laughs> okay. All right, so I think that's it. So I am putting this in here. Okay. All right, all right. So Charlie on YouTube was saying that he put five quarts of oil in this. And this thing that I got is exactly five quarts. Okay. So let's see, Charlie said, it looked like this. I don't know where else I would pour it. Oh my gosh, I really hope I'm doing this right. Dear Jesus, please let this be right. Please let me not have just made a $5,000 mistake. Amen. All right, all right, all right. So this is the thing that you use to check your oil. Would you turn it? Okay, all right, there we go. Let's see. So I clean this off. Okay, so put that in there, right? I wait for a second, pull this back out. And I want this, ooh. I think I want it between these two dots. And it does not like, look like I'm doing that. Can you have too much oil in a car? <sighs> I think. Is it because it's at an incline? Maybe let's take it off the incline and find out. But then will the car explode? Maybe not explode, but would that be problematic? I think it would. I think the issue is that because we're on an incline that we weren't able to get an accurate read. So turn it on. Okay, go ahead and back it up. I'm so Okay, and cut the engine. All right, so the dipstick is in. The car is level. We wipe this off. So you can see, it is clean, right? Okay, we put it in. You wait, and you pull it back out. Okay, so let me show you, let me show you. See how it has like an oily shine to it past those two dots? That's what I'm worried about. So it is late here, and we're gonna hang it up for the evening, but we'll pick it up tomorrow. A good day, a successful day, a dirty day, and I'm really craving a shower right now. Day two, I'm driving the car to an oil change place and it feels so much better, but I want an expert to look at it, someone who's actually done this at least one time <laughs> successfully. <laughs> so I have an extra quart. Should I just like pop it in? You think I should be good? Yep. Okay. Yep. Right on. Many and that, I don't and need- you did the filter? Did the filter too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ashley, thanks so much for the help. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Ashley said I did good. Uh, she did confirm one of the fears I had though, and it was that I did not put enough oil. So we're putting one more quart in. Oh, dang it. Oh, crap. Clean. Okay. No, no, go get the funnel. I was, trying to, I was trying to do a cinematic shot and pour the oil straight in, but I just poured it all over the engine. So just couldn't do this now. In one lesson I have learned in the mistakes that I've made with this car, thus far is that I got an excessively long funnel, an embarrassingly long funnel. It just confirms the fact I have no idea what I'm doing. That's, all, that's what this funnel represents. So am I a car expert yet? <laughs> you know, it depends who you ask. You know, my wife has been pretty impressed and she also thinks that I still smell like car. So um, I'm probably gonna take just one more shower.